Bit, 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 bit Napping TV. Hey and welcome to Bitnapping TV. My name is of course Stale Bastion and we just entered round two of the Summer of Podcasts. If you might ask yourself, what is the Summer of Podcasts? Well, it's a few podcasters who teamed up together to make a big prize giveaway. You can win one of those prizes by going to podcastmadness.com and enter our second code, which is RED. Well, maybe leave a rating about Bitnapping TV too. Um, and you can also check out other podcasts we teamed up with, for example, like Geek Tech Life or the CS Techcast. Well, just go to um, podcastmatters.com and you will find the URLs to their shows too. So let's go to today's tech tip. Maybe you're just like me and you use iCal for um, planning your tasks and events. Well, you see I have like four, three um, dates here. Um, where I have to release a new Bitnapping TV episode and I, well, don't see them um, unless I open iCal. There is a handy solution for that called iCal Viewer and you can get it at iCalViewer.com. So I just start it and it gives me that window. Well, a, a window is not really handy to be honest because I have to open it too. So I just switch from window mode to on the desktop and that makes a huge difference. So now um, iCal Viewer shows me all, all my uh, upcoming events on my desktop and here on the left there is my that's my time horizon that's right now so I all I just see that I'm overdue with that um, event and that there are two more coming and they're wandering towards the line so if I add a new one well I just call it new event it will um, take a while to show up on the desktop. That, that's just because iCallViewer does not uh, scan your iCall all the time because it would eat up too much CPU cycles. iCallViewer just does not only do um, like normal dates, it just also does to-do items. So if I add a new to-do, um, I can add it. And this is what these two white boxes are for. Now you see there's a new to-do um, called Be Silent. And um, like that, I can always see the um, tasks I have to do and, and the events that are coming up. This is a pretty easy way um, to make sure you always see um, what's ahead of you. In the preferences, you can change the colors, you can change the, um, the orientation or where, where, the, where the events should be. For example, you can make sure that all the events are on the bottom so they will be separated from um, the, the other events, or you can, for example, um, set up which calendars to use and which calendars not to use. So like that, Icon Viewer is a pretty um, handy and, well, mighty tool, I would say, um, that you really should check out. I think that's it for today. Um, check out Icon Viewer and also check out our Twitter page at twitter.com slash bitnappingtv. Follow us there and you will always get the newest updates about um, the new just released episode. That's it for today. Thank you. Goodbye. Submit your tips and questions at www.bitnapping.tv.